Hi everyone. Um, today we're going to talk about uh, another case of uh, sleeping disorder. But this patient, when he came to me, he the main complaint is that he just went for a health check and he found out that his uh, liver enzymes are a little too high. The number, um, there are two numbers, uh, ALT and AST. He didn't give me the exact numbers, but uh, he told me they're high and he has a history of IBS, so irritable bowel syndrome. So basically um, the trouble was the bowel movement. So when he uh, experienced IBS, he would feel like he has to go to the bathroom uh, very urgently, but when he actually sit on the toilet, um, there's basically there's no uh, stool or just there's very little stool. And he, because of his work and his uh, his business, um, he goes to bed very late, um, and also. He has two young children, one newborn, one uh, going to school, so he has to get up quite early. So he's been um, sleeping poorly and that's causing the fatigue. So, <clears throat> um, so this patient is a young male, 40 years old. Um, his skin and his complexion is more pale. Um, so when we see someone with the pale type of complexion, it's usually more of a deficient type of person. So this person can be lack of energy, lack of stamina, or um, yeah, that's how you explain deficiency. Um, <clears throat> so the, when I went through the diagnosis, he basically he has very light sleep. He wakes up easily and has some difficulty getting back to sleep. If he, for example, if he wakes up to prepare milk for his his newborn, then he would be very awake. Or when he um, there's a certain time of the night that um, he feels sleepy. If he go past the time frame and still hasn't gone gone to bed. And he would um, he wouldn't feel sleepy at all. He would be wide awake the whole night. Um, he um, he sweats very easily. So um, with a little bit of temperature uh, difference, like a little bit high temperature, a little bit of exercise, he would start to sweat uh, mostly in his chest, back, and crotch area. So. The reason I mentioned crotch area here is because when patients have like a damp or uh, sweating easily in this area, it indicates there is something wrong with his uh, water metabolism affecting the urination. So a lot of uh, water accumulates in the lower pelvis area. It can be in the bladder or it can be in the muscles basically just in the lower lower abdomen area. And that's why um, in Chinese medicine we would say there's a lot of dampness in the lower body or in the lower abdomen. So that's why um, you know water can pass through the the cell walls and from going from tissue to tissue or from muscle to skin very easily. So there, that's why I wanted to mention this crotch dampness here. Um, another thing is he's very, very thirsty. He drinks about four liters or more of water per day. And each time he needs to drink a little bit more than a cup. So it means that he's very thirsty. So as for someone who's not very thirsty, they like to sip or they don't drink too much water. They don't drink the whole cup at one time. And he has uh, complaints of dry throat and there is a bit of a uh, bitter taste in his mouth. And when he said when his IBS is acting up, usually caused by dairy. So he noticed that avoiding dairy will uh, reduce the amount of, uh, reduce the chance of IBS. So 
dairy being the milk or cheese or yogurt um, anything that's made from cow or goat any animal milk um, so when he gets IBS I mentioned earlier that he would feel very urgent that he has to go to the bathroom but when he sits on the toilet there's very little coming out um, or it can be like a loose uh, loose type of qualities too so it's kind of like ice cream there's no shape and it's very st sticky to the toilet so he has to flush the toilet a couple times or he has to kind of clean it every time he goes and so remember this this indicates some water metabolism issues so he's um, he can tell that the amount of urine that he has is much smaller than the amount of water he drinks so meaning um, a lot of water retention in the body or a lot of water that gets um, or it, it can be a lot of heat in the body and so the, the water goes out to um, sweating so there is a so usually we want to see a proportional uh, urination of, to water intake and when he has to go to washroom um, he has to go to pee he, he goes quite often and it's every time is little every time is a big amount um, even though it's big amount is still less than what the water he drinks so the, the color is more like a medium yellow um, medium yellow being being like um, like a light beer okay um, he also has a complaint of uh, bad breath so when there's a bad breath um, you want to think there's some sort of heat in the body it can be deficiency heat uh, or it can be excess heat or it can be um, blood heat or, or false heat basically it's some sort of heat so when I check his tongue his tongue is quite wide and very thick so you can see there is a lot of uh, it's also very kind of puffy so you can see a lot of water retention on the tongue the, the tissue is very um, very wet on the tongue and you will see teeth marks along the, the edges of his tongue and also there's some sort of wet uh, white coating on it you can see it's kind of slimy and wet basically that's how I can describe it so from this time we can tell that a lot of water retention and when you see teeth marks it, it means that the body is kind of deficient um, <clears throat> Also, when we when I check the abdomen, and remember this is the rib. Under the rib, he has some tension and some tenderness under the rib, and also in the apigastric, so meaning uh, this is the stomach region. There's some pain here. Another thing that he mentioned um, that would indicate his liver issue is that when he drinks alcohol, he can feel pain or some discomfort or sensitivity um, in this region so <clears throat> so this can be considered part of the liver issue liver is on the right side of our body and if after having alcohol there is some pain uh, under the ribs or here you can consider there is liver issue and there is very little palpitation here very deep palpitation um, he does have a he had a history of a panic attack when he was about 25 26 years old um, so when he had a panic attack he felt like his heart was racing was beating very fast heart was pounding so <clears throat> there's a history of a heart heart issue uh, or heart weakness so um, so overall um, I prescribed Xiao uh, Chai Tang plus Ling Gui Zhu Gan Tang so 
Lingo Jugantang is prescribed for a deficient type of body, a per deficient type of person who has uh, heart weakness and some water metabolism issue, along, <coughs> excuse me, along with some uh, dizziness or vertigo. So he said when he was young, he has a history of car or seasickness, um, or even felt like unbalanced when he was uh, on the airplane. So <clears throat> even though he looks, um, he has a, a bit of a stronger build, um, and the pulse I forgot to mention is a stronger pulse, but everything else indicates uh, he's more of a deficient type of person. That's why I prescribe this medicine the first visit for him to try. So even though I, I think he's probably 60, 70 percent deficient, 30, 40 percent access, I still prescribe a, like a formula for a deficient type of person just to try to see if my, um, my guess was correct. Um, <clears throat> And came, he came back the second week feeling like everything was better. On the third visit, uh, still on the same formula, he said that he's not no longer as thirsty and he was able to have some milk or cheese as long as he doesn't go to have too much or go too much overboard. He doesn't have the, um, the IBS symptoms that he's been experiencing. Um, and he's w much more rested and uh, have a deeper sleep. Energy was much better. He was able to like move some furniture uh, for a couple of hours. Um, <clears throat> so overall, this is a very quick and successful case because the first um, on the first visit, I prescribed something that actually fits him. So if <clears throat> I had a plan B, if this formula doesn't fit him, then it means that his body is more excess than I suspected. So if he's more excess, then I would swap out the um, swap out the uh, Lingui Zhugantang with uh, Wu Ling San. So instead of this formula, I would give him Xiao Cai Hu Tang plus Wu Ling Zhan, which is more for a more excess type of person who is very thirsty, who doesn't pee a lot. Um, basically, a lot of um, a, a hotter type of person. He has, his body has more heat. And so this person, even though he's, um, he doesn't feel cold, he just feel tired, feel weak, and doesn't sleep well. Very thirsty, doesn't pee a whole lot. Um, sweats a little bit easier. So this will be like a, a simple case for, like a very typ typical case for the combination of this uh, two formula. So basically, his liver has um, um, so let's yeah let's go into a little bit more detail about why um, his body is functioning that way. <clears throat> so this is his uh, optimum. Um, so. Liver is on the right side, liver and gallbladder. So when there's a, the function of liver and gallbladder is to sense out, um, to provide, disperse, is, the purpose is to disperse blood and from the liver. So when there is stress or when you're not sleeping well, liver's uh, function decreases, so it's not able to uh, disperse the blood properly. And, <clears throat> and in layman's term, that um, 
when he drinks alcohol, the liver is not able to process it. So that's why the uh, ALT and AST number shows up uh, high in the in his uh, blood test because these are the two enzymes of liver and when liver is not able to process alcohol or some sort of performance detox function um, the level will be high and so when when there's a liver issue in Chinese medicine that usually under the rib people will feel there's some sort of distension so distension meaning that it's like a swelling type of sensation from the inside out so something pushes out um, in modern medicine you can say enlarged liver or it might not be enlarged but um, basically it's distension is some sort of swelling type of sensation coming from the inside so that's why when I'm doing optimal check in this region that this the area will feel the patient will feel very tight or even painful or even achy <coughs> sorry about that I'm not gonna take that anyways um, so along with his um, along with his um, uh, when I diagnose him his bitter taste So bitter taste, dry, dry mouth, dry throat. So combination of high LTSC, high this is called hypochondriac distension, and with bitter taste and dry throat, dry mouth, it's a uh, indication for the formula Xiao Cai Hu Tang so liver and Xiao Cai Hu Tang being able to help liver disperse blood and also um, it's part of it is to clear some heat in the liver so when liver is not uh, functioning well there will be accumulating heat in the liver so from some people can have, can even have bad breath as well So maybe when you notice, you notice that uh, when you're not going to bed early enough, or you're staying up too late, or you've been very stressed or overworked, um, you notice some sort of maybe some of these uh, symptoms, or maybe bad breath. <clears throat> Another thing um, is that he has a he sweats easily, so meaning. Uh, in Chinese medicine, sweat, sweating, the function of sweating is controlled by our heart. So heart and lung actually. Um, the heart, the, the sweat comes from the heart, the lung disperses the sweat to the skin. So he has a history of palpit like panic attack with like severe palpitation. So, that tells me that uh, the heart function is weak. So when the heart function is weak, um, it tends to, because heart is supposed to disperse the blood as well, to send the blood down to the lower body um, through the arteries. So if there's a weak heart, so if there's weak heart, then this function is not very well then there will be a lot of blood accumulated in this region so when there's more blood accumulated here the heart tries to beat faster beat harder so you can you know direct more blood down to the lower body <coughs> so guizi is a very good formula a uh, good herbs good herbs to strengthen the heart function gui Strengthen the heart to improve the heart circulation to direct more blood down to the lower limbs. Um, and then because he has water metabolism issue, uh, fooling. Fooling is another important herb, which is uh, poria mushroom.
uh, poria mushroom which grew um, around the roots of pine trees. Pooling is a way to is a good herb to uh, regulate our water passage. Is also meaning that the water metabolism, water circulation of our body can be improved when you take uh, this fooling herb. <coughs> so combining with this history of dizziness, uh, um, so I, you know, with his tongue and his abdomen, so it kind of indicates, and so when the patient is deficient, I pick a formula that's more suit, more tonifying, so uh, Lingue Jugantang Lingue Jugantang has Fu Ling Gui Zi and Bai Zhu and Gan Cao So Ling being Fu Ling Gui Zi Bai Zhu and Gan Cao Bai Zhu is a for, uh, herb that um, kind of helps um, helps bring the water under your skin to your bladder. So, someone who has like um, edema or puffy skin, puffy legs, puffy face, um, along with some dizziness, vertigo, this will be an important herb. And Gan Cao being uh, the licorice, so Gan Cao has a tonifying factor. It has um, if somebody is deficient, taking Gan Cao will help. Um, give him the person a little bit more energy so combination of all these is able to strengthen his heart improve water metabolism reduce dizziness because dizziness is always caused by uh, water metabolism uh, water retention sorry dizziness caused by water retention so Baiju will help bring more water clear out more water retention in the body and Gan Cao being um, like a tonifying herb. So the combination kind of just fits this person's um, constitution and also her uh, his health status at, at the moment. So that's why after three visits he's much better. Um, I told him to continue taking the herbs for a few months and come back to see me in in January. So that's the case for today. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Or if you think you have a similar type of symptoms like this person, maybe this formula is uh, can work for you too. Uh, but however, it's best that you go to a TCM practitioner or herbalist that you trust to see if this is the right formula for you. Anyways, uh, that's it for today. See you next time. Bye-bye.